Priyanka Shridhar. I am a student from IV Professional School, and while learning at IV, we have assigned a research project. We have to find the data from any data source, and we have to analyze it while using SQL. So I have created a presentation for that only. It's a superstore data case study, a research project. So first we'll uh, look at the content. The uh, first we'll uh, look at the case study and the findings. Then we move forward with the objectives. Then we'll see how. Uh, then we'll see the important factors and we'll move forward to the steps to upload and create data set in SQL and then we'll analyze the data using SQL. So uh, the case study, uh, this case study consists of one data set. The data set includes all the orders and shipping details along with the customer details of Superstore. It's a data set consists of 24 columns and 19,943 number of rows. Uh, then we'll move forward with the objectives. We basically have to analyze the orders from Superstore for the given period of time, and we have to publish the findings based on data analysis. Uh, uh, before moving to important factors to optimize business, let me show you the data. So this is the data basically in this data. Uh, we have the order details, we have the shipping details, we have the customer details, along with their country, state, city, uh, region, and we have the product details, category and subcategory of sales quantity, profits, and the shipping cost for each state according to the order priority. So um, I have analyzed the same data. So the important factors to optimize business, uh, we'll analyze the total number of orders, then we'll move forward with the number of orders in each country. Then we'll move forward with the total number of orders as per the priority. Then we'll look for the sales quantity each year. Then we'll move forward with the each year profit. Then we'll look for the total shipping cost state-wise. Then we'll see the highest to lowest sales quantity uh, with the product category and subcategory. Moving forward, first we look at the steps to upload and create data set in SQL. The step one is we have to run a query to create a database. So I have created it. I have mentioned a screenshot of, over here. So we have to create database according to ourselves. And then we have uh, step two is we have to right click on the schema. And then we have to click on table data import wizard. And moving forward, step three is we have to uh, browse the data from um, our PC or desktop, and then we have to click on next, and then we have to upload the data. Uh, I can show you here as well. We have to use the data. We have to uh, right click it, and we have the, to click on the table import for that, and then we have to browse and upload the data. So um, moving forward. Uh, first, we'll see the total number of orders. I have mentioned the query here. We have to mention distinct over here because we have to find the total number of order orders, not the rows. So the total number of orders are 10,057. Then we'll move forward with the country-wise total number of sales. Uh, I have mentioned the query here. So in this, we have to count the number of order IDs because that is the unique ID we have for all the orders. And then uh, we have to group it by country and order it by total number of sales. So this is a graphical representation I have. The highest number of orders are from United States, that is 3850. The uh, lowest number of order are from uh, Burgundy and Gabon, that is one. Moving forward to the orders as per the priority, the SQL query for that, I have mentioned it here. We have to again count it by order ID and we have to group it by order priority. So this is a graphical representation which I have mentioned here. Moving forward to the sales quantity for each year. So uh, this is the query which I have mentioned. So uh, we have to find the sales quantity for each year. So I have, we have to mention the years over here, not the date. So I have mentioned a query over here and group it by year. This is a graphical representation for the same. So um, yearly increasing profit. So to uh, find the SQL, uh, to find it out from the SQL query, uh, we, I have mentioned it here. Again, we have to group it by year and we have to sum the profit. 
uh, to find the total profits and we have to uh, sum the sales as well to find the sales so this is the graphical chart we can see as as per the year year is going on uh, we have as per the sales increasing the profit is also increasing so a uh, state wise shipping cost to find the uh, to find the shipping cost we have a sql query query we have to sum the shipping cost and we have to find it out for each state this is the graphical representation i have so the highest shipping cost is from california the lowest shipping cost is from nelson moving forward to find the category wise sales uh, we have to group it by category and sub category to find out the uh, category and sub product wise sales uh, so we have to sum of uh, we have to do the sum of sales this is the graphical representation of the same for each uh, category like furniture office supplies and technologies we have the uh, graphs we have the numbers for each sub category as well so moving forward with the findings the total number of orders we found Uh, is ten thousand zero five seven. The highest number of orders are are from United States, that is thirty eight fifty. The lowest number are from Burgundy and Gabon, that is one. Medium order placed as per priority is fifty eight percent. The increasing sales from two thousand eleven to two thousand fourteen. The highest sale is in two thousand fourteen, and the lowest sale is is in two thousand eleven. then we have, we saw the increasing profit from uh, year by year that is 2011 to 2014 then we uh, we saw that the higher shipping cost is for california that is 18450 and the lowest shipping cost is for nelson uh, so uh, in the product uh, we first we have the category so technology have the highest sales in that of uh, 1869 539 and in technologies phone have the highest number of sales that is 650 587 so in office supplies we have the lowest sales in category that is of 1458 707 and in office supplies uh, the labels have the lowest number of sales that is 28886 uh mo moving forward with all the findings uh, that is the end of my presentation thank you so much